Hello guys, this is a carbon fiber arrow shaft which I'm going to use as a boom. Here I'm cutting the vertical stabilizer. I'm cutting it halfway through. The fiberglass from one side is left on. I'm applying 5 minute epoxy and setting it horizontal secure. This is how the finished part looks like. And now I'm going to reinforce with a strip of fiberglass. I'm going to do this both sides. And vertical stabilizer is finished. Now onto the horizontal stabilizer. Here I'm using balsa wood. This is roughly the shape. Now I'm making a channel for the boom to sit tight. And a couple of side pieces for reinforcement. Roughly this shape. And I'm gonna put them together with CA glue. And spray a little bit of uh, black paint. Here I'm mounting a pylon to the horizontal stabilizer. Take care to align the pieces. Here I'm making some holes to the pylon and gluing with 5 minute epoxy. Make sure that the boom is parallel to the ground. The epoxy has cured and now I'm going to put this uh, parts together with CA glue. Carefully align. Make sure the boom is parallel again to the ground and glue. Reinforce with a strip of fiberglass. This is the finished part. Looks perfect. Now onto the peg, 3mm carbon fiber rod, two pieces joined together with a strip of carbon fiber cloth. Apply 5 minute epoxy and wrap the rods with a string. After curing, trim and sand to shape. Here we're going to position the peg onto the wingtip. Couple of uh, 3mm holes. And you're ready to go. The peg is mounted in a way that the top side is closer to you. Like this. Again, apply 5 minute epoxy and let it set for a half an hour. Next one is shaping the dihedral of the wings. A total of 24 degrees is needed for both wings, 12 degrees per side. Set your wing on a piece of a wooden plank at the right angle and secure in position. Very important, trailing edge should be parallel to the plank. Use a sanding block and sand vertically. The wind dihedral is ready. Do exactly the same for both wings. Now to join the wings, use a piece of tape at the bottom side of one wing and bring the other piece together to form the final shape.
Here I'm uh, marking the uh, center of the holes for the mounting system. And this is the area I won't apply any glue. I made some holes in the wings uh, profile and now I'm going to apply 5 minute epoxy. Once again, carefully align your trailing edge with the, your table edge and support your wing with some weight so the join is uh, steady and it doesn't move. We need to drill 8 mm holes, starting with a smaller bit and changing to an 8 mm. I'm going to use an 8 mm wooden dowel. Cut to small pieces to fit my wings profile. Again, glue with 5 minute epoxy. Reinforce with a fiberglass strip and 5 minute epoxy both sides of the wing. Finished wing with plugged install 58G.